Hello and thank you for returning back to the vlog. Today's topic is going to be simple organizational ideas for your kitchen. There's actually a science to how a kitchens are laid out. So when you bring in a designer, there's a specific footprint for stove, oven, sink, refrigerator, so that when you're working with food, preparing other foods, and doing cleanup afterwards, there actually is a method to the madness. All right, now once the kitchen's already laid out, here is basically just a, a quick rule of thumb of how to organize all the additional components, pots, pans, food, servers, drinking glasses, dining, uh, silverware plates, whatever. So let's start from the top. Prep, all cutting boards and near knives always should be near each other because since they work with each other, it only stands to reason you should store them that way so they have great access. Cooking, pots, pans, plates, bakeware in a cupboard near the stove top because that's eventually where we're gonna end up anyway. So you wanna make that accessible. You don't wanna walk across the room or have to go actually sometimes even into another room where you think it's better stored. Drinking, if possible, put your coffee pot near your plates. Since it is a part of your utensils you use for consuming foods, drinks, and beverages, it only makes sense that's accessible by both. Dining, for the most convenient, see if you can place your plates, bowls near your tables because that's where they're eventually going to be utilized the most and it's just a utilitarian uh, method for keeping things organized. So when you're looking at your cable, your cabinets, your countertops, and your drawers, Think in those terms. Miscellaneous appliances. Oh boy. <laughs> Who does not have a drawfall of them? Okay, take inventory of some of these appliances and devices, whatever, and be honest with yourself. How much functionality do they really have? Is that drawer just being a storage unit or do those items inside the drawer actually have some value? All right. Organizing dry foods can be tricky, but depending on size, you know, they have a longer shelf life and depending on the amount of usage, they can be stored separately, even in, in like a pantry type closet. Baking, okay materials, same. You can put them in the same cupboard on the same shelf if possible and you know they can stay there up to a certain period of time. Beverages, coffee teas together, near coffee pots and water kettle. Pantry goods, if you don't have a pantry, designate one cupboard for what I call long-term storage so that it's a storage place. I mean all cabinets and shelves are storage places but this is for intermittent use storage. And lastly, daily use, like bread, cereal, snacks, find what I call the quick access location. That location can be anywhere near your sinks, uh, or access to where kids wanna, or family members may wanna reach them the most. On that note, thank you again for visiting. Share, like, or send a note, but I look forward to speaking to you next time.